drums are going crazy. Right, let's get started. I want to do something like Come Down, you know, from the Malibu album. It's old, but it's such a vibe. The groove on it is amazing. And I want to get some of that drum feel in. It's like, yeah, that's the inspiration for today. Let's go. I'm going to set a tempo of 95, I think. Not too fast, not too slow. And definitely we'll start with... Let's start with the chords today. Let's just randomize it. It's always more fun to do that. Oh, that's kind of cool. We'll go for one passing chord because I cannot resist putting a passing chord in. All right, this little chord progression, we've got this G major 9, A minor 7, B minor 7, simple C major, then we go into an A flat 7, and back over to that G major, G major 9. Lovely stuff, so simple. Mm, passing chord isn't sounding that good, is it? Let me punch in an F minor 7 flat 5 instead of that. Okay, with less velocity. But, but that could work. Ah, yeah, okay, cool, cool. Okay, we're feeling that, we're feeling that. All right, first things first, I want to make this more ambient, so I want to increase the attack. It's a little Moog patch. Very nice. All right, let's make the attack a little bit higher. Control a little bit at the low end, I think. Get a Pro Q3 on there. It's gorgeous. Ooh, I just got a new plugin and I'm gonna use it. Make this a little bit more lo fi sounding. I've just got this. Goodness me. Unfiltered audio needlepoint thing. Alright, nice. That's it without. Boom, boom. Oh, this should have a little, like, stutter thing. Yeah, that little stutter is nice. Okay, that's sounding really dope. I think it just needs some ambience, and then we can get on with some drums. What am I going to go for? I'm going to try a little Seventh Heaven. Or do we try my old favourite? You know what it is. Spaced out. What's this going to sound like? Ooh, that's... The problem is I always love this plugin, it's such a cheat code. Let's just mess around with this a little bit. Yeah, I really like that, but I think I want it on a effect send, not as a wet signal. And then I just want to get some little bit of compression on here. Just to tame that a little bit. Some varium compression on that. Oh, that's so nice. Already getting that vibe going. Gorgeous, right. It's gotta be time for drums now. I'm gonna start with some live sounding drums. I wanna get the 16th note hi-hat going here. One, two, three. Not the greatest recording, but that's where our old friend Quantize comes in. Let's give this a fair little bit of swing. 16th note. Don't want to quantize it fully. Right, we're going to humanize all these offbeats. Then I'm going to humanize again the 16th to make them even more off the grid. And I'm going to pull these 16th down in velocity quite a bit. Okay, now we're going to play around with the different notes we've got in here to make some different sounds. Ooh, yes. Let's get some kicks and snares going. Okay, we've already got a vibe going. Maybe we'll get another kick in there just to do the low end. All right, a little bit of mixing on this. Let's take some lows out of that high kick. All right, the kick is bussing. Sounding really nice. What I'm going to do is add some saturation to it so that I can then lower the level down a little bit, 
In fact, I'm not even going to saturate it, I'm just going to limit it. But let's try some toms. Love that. Love that. I like those toms. Kind of want to make them a little more crazy. Right, let's put some devil lock on those toms. Hard. So hard. Right, I want to put all those drums into a room. So let's get a let's get a room going. There we go. I think I might try a little little snare sample in there as well. Or maybe a rim. Ooh, that's kind of nice. We'll put some reverb on that. Or maybe we send that across to the uh, this little spaced out number here. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. For the second rim, I'm feeling more like that would be more of a vibe if I got it and reversed it. That's hard. That's that's hard. Drums are going crazy. Okay, they definitely need some processing on that drum bus. That's what's next. For these drums, I'm thinking a bit of saturation and a bit of bus compression. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's get this bus compressor on here. Four to one. Okay, I like it, but I think it really needs a bass line to make it go crazy. I've just loaded up this little profit patch, little bass patch that I made. It's going into some saturation and compression on the way in. And let me know if you guys want, you know, a bank of profit patches. I've programmed loads of my own stuff. So, you know, if there's any interest, I'll make a pack. Let's record something in. Tasty. That is tasty. I want to get a little, want to get some little something that's like a da 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 da, just like a counter melody kind of thing. It'd be cool to use like a horn or something for it, wouldn't it? Let's get, try and get some horns. Easy. Let's get another trumpet in there, and maybe a trombone as well. I wonder if we can get a different voicing on some of these. Staccato, there we go. I want to get some RC20 on there to funk that up a little bit. If we render all of these out, we can get some other effects on it and uh, maybe reverse it too. All right, reverse those. That's cool. And then a bit of reverb on here. Maybe a Valhalla. Oh, that feels so good to me. Let's have a little listen to that. Gorgeous. I think that's it for today. I'm going to stop there. Happy with that. That went crazy. All right, see you in the next one. Peace.